What's going on guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back and I wanna tell you this. I have messed up so many times in my life and you know what? I've had to learn how to get back up. If you wanna be great, if you wanna be successful, not only in this game but also in life, you have to learn to get back up. I encourage you guys, keep going, don't give up. I'm your number one fan. You know, possibly one of the best competitive updates in the history of Fortnite season two, chapter two, has made lots of noise all around the Fortnite pro community. You know, strong metas, solid vaults, unvaults, and the removal of traps has made this season an exciting one for competitive players. But they do also mean that the variety in loadouts and play styles have increased. The removal of traps makes more unique weapon combinations because box fights have become more prevalent, right? Simply spam placing traps in a box will no longer be viable for taking down opponents. So smart, accurate, and skillful plays are the only players that are going to be winning box fights. In this video today, we're going to be going over some of the best weapon combos and loadouts to give you guys the best possible chance at dominating the end game. After all, without good weapons and items, surviving the end game will be much harder against good opponents that you know have been looting and crafting their own loadouts all game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is about that time. We gotta do the question of the day. What is your favorite loadout and why? Leave it in the comments down below. I'm really curious to find out. Also, if you wanna learn how to play exactly like the pro players, check out ProGuys.com where we have the best coaches in the world. Sign up for our membership today and get exclusive access, guys, to master courses by players like Benji and Mongrel. And if you want to go more in depth and explore all the different aspects of, you know, competitive gameplay that you need to know in order to succeed, head on over to ProGuide's website and be sure to sign up and start improving rapidly today. With the addition, you know, of the brand new POIs and AIs, mythic bosses have been added, right? These bosses drop you mythic rarity weapons and utilities that are only one per game. Some of them are insanely OP and really can absolutely win a game if you have access to them, right? In this section, we're gonna be talking about the most useful ones for your loadout and going over like what makes them so good. The grappler, for example, guys, like is perhaps the most useful utility in the game. You know, it really just allows for easy mobility, you know, rotations and can save you tons of materials when, you know, opponents engage in fights. This is because, you know, you no longer have to build up to high points or even waste ramps. Grapplers are just insanely useful in the end game as well. The player who has access to the grappler is going to be able to waste like no materials as they can easily rotate from point A to point B. And they'll also be able to just get high ground within a few seconds just by grappling up. So the Mythic Grappler is also unlimited uses, which makes it crazy, crazy OP as you can just constantly keep shooting out grapples and reuse it. The Grappler is by far, guys, like the most important utility item in the game, and you should always consider contesting for it or like challenging the player that has it. Next up, we have the Mythic Drum Gun, which is, you know, one of the most effective spray type weapons in the game, all right? So the Drum Gun absolutely shreds through bills and does massive damage to the head and body, right? It's fast fire rate paired with high damage shots make it like one of the deadliest close range weapons in the game. So comboing this weapon with a pump shotgun is like possibly one of the best ways to play. So taking an accurate shot, you know, with the pump shotgun paired with the clip of the mythic drum gun is more than enough to decimate enemies like from close quarters. Taking advantage of this combo in box fights and, you know, very close range fights are going to give you guys a significant chance at being able to successfully W key every player with ease. We wouldn't be surprised at all if we started seeing players like a known army abusing this new meta. So the final useful mythic weapon that we're going to be utilizing in our loadouts later in this video is the Mythic AR, which has a faster fire rate and damage output than any other assault rifle in the game. All right, guys, so now we got to talk about the first major loadout that can be used to dominate opponents in competitive games. So oftentimes you're going to find yourself struggling to choose between, you know, utility items and weapons that you would like to carry. Whether it's like making the decision between three med kits or a P90, it could always be a difficult choice depending on your scenario. But for critical end games where, you know, you need to have healable items, it's really important to carry the best healing items possible, even if that means giving up a slot or two. So the first loadout that we're going to be talking about is going to be mainly for, you know, players who have great aim and can rely on their shotgun shots to do heavy damage in the end game. This loadout is perfect for end game scenarios and it's going to keep you guys alive if you're taking storm damage or, you know, just high damage in general from playing aggressively. 
Loadout number one, guys, is going to be a tactical shotgun AR minis and then a bandaged bazooka in that exact order. All right. The reason this order is like really, really important is because controller players who switch between building, you know, editing and aiming will need to have their shotgun as their first slot. If they don't, they may need to cycle through their first weapon item to reach their shotgun, which isn't always really a good idea if you need a quick pullout. If you're a keyboard and mouse player, however, you know, you're going to be just fine with placing these items in whatever order you choose. So the assault rifle is placed directly next to the shotgun, all right, so that, you know, you can switch it to as soon as you need and, and switch to a spray type weapon. Scenarios this would be useful is, you know, if you're applying pressure from close range, right? Or if you just finished off a shotgun fight and you want to quickly beam an opponent that isn't paying attention to you in the end game, of course. All right, guys, so now the reason we place the bandaged bazooka straight at the end is so that you can quickly switch to it and start shooting yourself with bandages if need be. You know, all those shields deplete first when you're fighting. If your health runs to zero, your game is going to be over. And the storm towards end game, guys, has no mercy, like meaning it can quickly drain your health. And, you know, you're going to need to be as quick as possible to save yourself from dying in the storm. So what's great about the bandage bazooka is that, you know, it's constantly filling up with bandages, right? Meaning you're gonna have infinite health and you won't ever run out or need to search and hunt for meds. Of course, you could just, you know, pick up bandages or fish, but you know, these will not always be available and they always require time to use, whereas the bandage bazooka is instant. As for the minis, you know, almost every player carries minis with them, right? Making it a very common item that can quickly be picked up from leftovers or, you know, from downed enemies. You won't really have have to worry about running out of minis or shields as you know they're always going to be some around you if you need to pick up especially towards the end game minis are also uncommon items aka green rarity meaning you know they're very just easy to find all right so now we got to talk about why we chose these specific weapons for this loadout and how you can maximize the damage output that you can get using this combination so the tactical shotgun is a great option for close range fights and can be deadly in build fights due to you know its fast fire rate and you know really the ability to shoot down walls and player builds we often see players like booga using it to shoot down weakened walls instead of pickaxing them because you know if it's a large magazine size damage output and fast fire rate so when combined with an AR, which is an all around amazing weapon for close, you know, medium and even long range, you can get a strong combination that is great for a competitive arena, right? The best way to maximize this loadout is by getting a purple or gold tactical shotgun and combining this with the mythic AR. This is the best case scenario. However, you know, if any shotgun and, you know, tactical will suffice for this loadout. So guys, you just got to keep in mind that the rarer the weapon, the more effective your loadout is going to be. As a side note, this loadout is excellent for those of you that, you know, are not going to be dropping hot in points of interest that have mythic items, you know. So all the items in the loadout are available in normal areas and you won't have to feel like obligated to have the best weapon to have a strong weapon combo. So the only two setbacks this loadout actually has is it compromises an extra space that, you know, you could have used for an SMG, which is a problem that the AR has being a weapon that doesn't necessarily have a super fast fire rate that shreds through builds. But if your play style consists of smart plays, you know, accurate shot timing and somewhat, you know, decent editing, this loadout is going to do you guys wonders in competitive events and matches. For our second loadout, we're going to be utilizing, you know, a more W key oriented weapon combo that could be used by more aggressive players who like to jump into boxes and challenge opponents. We're going to be using the pump, come on now, the SMG, or preferably the mythic drum gun minis, all right, green fish, and an AR in that exact order. So the pump SMG meta is still, you know, a viable option to this day and one that many pros still use. It's extremely powerful. You have a shotgun blue rarity or above and any SMG. Switching from a powerful pump shot to, you know, a strong spray oriented weapon is a great way to take opponents out fast and push them with great force. So the best possible scenario of this loadout would be using a gold pump, mythic drum gun and mythic AR. Of course, you know, the changes of, you know, having all these are very little. So we just suggest, you know, prioritizing the drum gun if you believe that you can contest it. But any pump blue rarity and over combined with any SMG and AR is going to do great damage. You know, as for the fishies, you know, fish are great ways to gain health, obviously. And, you know, lots of players carry them in competitive matches similar to minis, right? So they're easy to find when fishing. And, you know, many people have them left over because of the amount that most people carry when eliminated. So making them a great option for end games are great. Their ability to give a quick 50 health is very useful as well. So placing the assault rifle, guys, at the end of this loadout is for quick access, all right? It's two clicks away 
and allows for you to quickly switch to it if your SMG runs out and you know you need another weapon to pair with the pump shotgun quickly. So keep in mind that you won't always have time to reload and close quarter encounters. So being able to bounce between using the AR and a strong sprayer like an SMG or drum gun is gonna make for a very strong weapon combo, man. That's phenomenal for applying pressure to opponents. So one alternate option that is extremely good, but rare for this loadout is actually dropping the SMG and using the Mythic Grappler instead. So the way you would do this is by placing your AR next to your pump while placing the Grappler all the way to the right. This is gonna allow you guys to quickly move from place to place, right? While also utilizing the well-known pump AR strategy that many pros do. This is very effective with those of you, you know, with great shotgun aim. But if you're infamous for missing pump shots, consider using a tactical instead of a pump. Trust me, and you're going to be goaded. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guide. That is it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you guys thought and what you like to see next because we strive to bring you guys daily quality content. So do us a favor by liking this video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love by using code ProGuys in the item shop. Thank you guys once again, and we'll see you next time.